Hello everyone and welcome to another video on this series on getting started with fates. Uh, we are still looking at norns and uh, on this occasion we are going to um, use Maiden. Um, it's the web interface um, that allows you to manage your, your scripts. So first things first, uh, let's make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Um, K2, when you press K2, uh, it gives you uh, a lot of information. Um, it, it, uh, it, it, it's a quad core uh, Raspberry Pi, so it gives you uh, processing on each core and uh, uh, the temperature and your uh, disk space, uh, your use space, and uh, the IP of uh, the, that uh, Fates was assigned. Uh, so if you have an IP here, it means you, you are connected. If not, go to System and Wi-Fi. So there's two interesting things. Um, you can add and then connect to a Wi-Fi, um, to a router, Wi-Fi hotspot, or you can become a hotspot. Uh, you can make the Raspberry Pi um, uh, be a hotspot. So right now, I'm connected. Uh, I'm already connected to uh, this Wi-Fi. So let's let's see how that looks. Um, so you just need to type the you the the IP 192.168.1.66, and you can see this is the interface. Um, so we have a menu here, um, and we have the console down here. So, um, so if you run a script, for example, it'll it, normally all the scripts when they run, they they'll they'll throw in some uh, some console debug. Uh, so if you want to debug and some some something not working, you could get some uh, information here. Um, so the first one is files, then the second one is a console, and the third one is uh, the scripts. You have your installed and your available, and you can browse like this. There's so many scripts, and these are the ones that uh, are kind of subscribed, uh, so to speak. Um, to, to have uh, your script show up here, you need to, I, I haven't done it, but um, uh, the, the few things I read uh, is uh, you have to name it a certain way in, in GitHub, uh, so it'll be recognized in the community scripts. Um, so I, I was saying that because there's probably even more, much more stuff that is not that doesn't ascribe uh, to what uh, needs to needs in order to show here. So there's probably a lot of stuff there that uh, you can also get. Um, so it's pretty easy to install. Um, you just click on install. You can see some tags here. Uh, for example, the ones that say grid either necessarily need the grid or um, uh, or can use it um, and you can see there's a lot of uh, other uh, tags sequencer generative loop looper uh, synth um, sampler uh, this one can use arc and grid this one is an uh, effects yeah delay probably a lot of you know already know delay uh, 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 pretty easy to use and, and beautiful delay. Um, so you want one, uh, this looks good, Haze, four, tri four track live granular looper. Uh, and is that Haven, Haze, here, there, 
The sound begins here, but you began there. Okay, both of these sound great. Installing, installed. Install, installing case, installed. You go back to installed, and you, you have them here. Here, there, and haze. Great. Um, let's see, I was looking for another one. Dronecaster. Dronecaster. Dronecaster is really good. Let's install that one. Uh, easy grain. I was, I remember. Icarus. It's a uh, a synth, uh, a very cool synth. We'll probably use it um, in our next video. Um, I'll look for testing, MIDI monitor. Um, so yeah, um, and then let's go back to our uh, fates and when you go to select, let's see, I installed Dronecaster, here it is, and Icarus, here, there, and Haze. So, yeah, that's how you uh, manage scripts. Uh, see you next time.